this video, we are going to go over how to make projects from scratch. So once you open Magic Cut Studio, you'll click New Project. And your settings need to either be 24 inches by 34 or by 36. Once it opens up, click the Zoom In tool and zoom in just a little bit so you can see each item closer. From here, you can go to the library and choose from any of the objects to insert into your cut pattern. Anything that you add in will automatically be a cut pattern. You can choose from different categories, or you could add in your text yourself using the T button or the type tool. So today I'm going to make a winter bulletin board. Under the category winter, there's gingerbread man, hats, and all kinds of other items. So you can either click them and it'll add it in automatically, or you can click and drag it where you would like it to be. Once you've inserted the objects that you wish to cut out, you can click and drag them and place them where you would like on your sheet. To resize them, you make sure it's selected and you can either drag it or you can go over and change the width and the height. You can also rotate your objects to make them fit your paper better. If you wish to delete an object, you can either right click and hit delete, or you can select it and delete it on your keypad. Make sure that when you're placing your items that you're paying attention to your margins that you need to keep. There's a three inch margin on the top and a two inch margin on each side. You need these margins so that the registration marks will print and it will know where to cut your objects out. You can also select your layer from going to the layer list on the right and clicking on your object. Try to keep one inch between your objects so that it cuts out correctly. Once you have them placed where you would like, you can preview them and each one that is outlined in red is going to be where your cutter is going to cut. So like this object right here has many different cut lines inside. So if you'd like to change that, you can select your object, click the wrench on the right side, and you'll click weld. That will make sure that it is only cutting on the outside of your object. So once you preview it, you will see that it's changed it and connected it all together. If you would like to change the color of your objects, you highlight the object you would like, go to the art palette, and you can choose any of the colors selected. You can drag and choose your own custom color, or you can do your RGB or your hex color and create a custom color. You can also choose patterns. To choose a pattern, you go to the art palette and choose the pattern fill, and you can either choose from the selected patterns and preview it or you can load your own image. Once you've loaded your image you can preview it and you can change the width and the height to make your image larger or smaller. You can also mirror it vertically or mirror it horizontally and rotate your image. Each time you change it, you can preview it to see how it looks. Once you're happy, you hit OK. 
If you would like to add in text, you'll hit the T. And with the typing tool, you can write whatever you would like. From here you can change your color and your patterns and if you'd like to change the font you go down to the text, click the font and you can either scroll through and choose what you would like or you can use the up and down arrows on your keypad. We suggest using thicker fonts as they cut out better on the Magic Cutter. Now you can preview and check all of your cut lines and make sure that your registration marks, which are these 90 degree angles in each corner, make sure they're all there. Once you're ready, you'll hit Cutter and you can see another preview screen here. Then you'll hit print and cut, print, check to make sure that it's connected to the correct printer, which will be your TM205 or TM200. Then you'll check the properties and make sure that your page setup is the same as your mat size. So you will either choose ISO A1 or you can choose Arch D, which is 24 by 36 inches. And then you want to make sure that you select no space at top or bottom to save your white space on the paper. Then you will hit OK. And once it prints out, you will put it in your magic cutter. And then you will hit Next and start scan.